So, I'm officially back from TwitchCon, and yet everyone on Twitter is talking about how they have a day off to just relax. Meanwhile, I have to make this video, I have to hand off a bunch of other stuff. There's just no rest for me. Thank, thank God for coffee. Let's go and talk about, I wanted to share with you guys what I was bringing over to TwitchCon. Don't mind my voice. <laughs> this is literally the day after I got back from TwitchCon. But, I want to share with you guys what I brought to TwitchCon. I was able to actually do professional video and photo work for a company when I was there, as well as I made my own content also. So, never did I once feel like I was underprepared for anything. I felt like everything I needed I had, so I want to go ahead and share that with you so that way you can have an amazing time at your own convention. So, first off, my bag of choice is this. This is the Peter McKinnon Everyday 25 liter bag, and the thing is phenomenal. Uh, as you can see, it definitely had better days. <laughs> Um, but this thing has been holding up amazing. It's also super comfortable because of how thick these straps are. And then also these back pads are phenomenal. And you guys are gonna be amazed with how much stuff I was able to carry in this, as well as it still be comfortable for me to wear and walk around with without being too much. I'm gonna do a full review of this and you guys will see why, but this thing is absolutely amazing and spoiler alert, I love this bag. This is probably gonna be my bag going forward for conventions and anytime I'm traveling which hopefully will be more in the future. So this is my bag of choice. On the side here, I also had my little tripod for when I was traveling and trying to make vlog content. But let's go ahead and dive into the main compartment. Also, do not judge me because I didn't pretty up my backpack to make it look good for the video. It's literally just as I brought it home, so it doesn't look good. But it still carried everything I needed. Well, first and foremost, actually, before I actually dive into this, well, actually, here we go. So this is the bag. This is everything I had inside of it. Look at that. Hey, yo. I'm you, Paula. There's gonna be more bars down there someday. Partner, awesome, something. As you can see, it's missing a few things. So, number one right here is actually where I would put my camera. So I had my A7 IV with my Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter in here. Um, I also had my lens, which I'm using up above, which is the Tamron 28 to 75 as well, 2.8 uh, for f-stop. So those two lenses are phenomenal. Like I did all of my work on it, so all the video, the b-roll and stuff that I got are fantastic. And the great thing about these is that each one of these lenses is less than $1,000, and as where the Sony equivalent, the G Masters, would be almost two grand for just one of them. So if you guys are looking to get in professional like video and photography and stuff like that, these lenses absolutely crushed it, and I had no problems getting any shot that I wanted. Love them. Mwah! But also too, the camera, this camera is insane. Like if you guys, again, are looking to be a, become a professional videographer or photographer, this is an amazing camera to definitely work on or even just to get into. I had no problems with any of the shots I had. I even did a lot of the shots I did handheld without my gimbal and it just came out phenomenal. All the moments I captured for the company and myself were done on this camera with these two lenses on them and I had no problems with it. Now the other part that's missing right here is actually gonna be my microphone. So I actually brought two microphones and here's why. So I brought the Rode NTG, uh, the portable version of it. And I brought this because I wanna make sure I had two microphones in case there was a malfunction with one of them and I was able to use the other one. So with this one, it is battery powered and it plugs in, but it does sound amazing. It also has a nice feature where you can do a dual track so that way on one, on the left side of the track, it could be negative 20 decibels, and then on the other track, it could be normal. So that way, if you have like a peaking moment or if it's too loud, you can then revert to the other track. Now, the other microphone I brought is this. This is the microphone. This thing is really good for vlogging and for just being portable with it. It has automatic levels on it, which is nice. So that way, if you do get really loud, it doesn't peak. I've never had an issue with it peaking like that. It also has a wind uh, fuzzy built onto this, so which honestly the, the con was actually pretty windy, or at least like the city we were in. So it was pretty windy, um, but the coolest thing is that it electronically connects to the camera. So that way there's no wires, there's no nothing, it just plugs in, which also means this doesn't run on a battery, it just runs off the battery from the camera. This is probably my favorite mic to vlog with, although I felt like last convention I was at, it was just really noisy and loud and picked up everything around me, but I think that's just some settings I gotta figure out, but again, never a bad idea to have two microphones uh, just in case something happens and you're trying to shoot. Now next up, actually, I had a third microphone with me and that is this. This is the DJI wireless microphone setup, which actually has a transmitter as well as or one receiver and then two transmitters on it, which are amazing. 
and it also has adapters for iPhone and also Android. Again, another great tool to have just in case. So even if you want to record something on your phone or if you want to record, record something on here or even to just to get like sights and sounds or just sounds from the convention, you can actually record directly on this with audio and not have to worry about using your camera to just record a blank video for audio. I actually surprisingly didn't end up using this, but I think next time I'm going to because I even ended up buying another thing to go with this. So I actually ended up bringing this as well too. <laughs> Again, something I didn't end up using, but this is basically just a handle for those microphones. So that way, if you want to, you can just go ahead and slide it on like this and you can use it like this. You can talk and then you can kind of like, you know, like if you're interviewing someone, like I see, I saw people doing that, right? Or you see people holding their phones like this. So instead of doing that, you can just, and there you go. Couple more things I did bring was a portable LED light. So this is great because if you guys have ever been to a convention, the lighting there is absolutely terrible and it's horrible. So I brought this, which is the MC by Aperture. So it's just this mini little light that has a diffuser built onto it. So it's a very soft light when you're using it. You can use it to be very soft and like light up the other side of my face and stuff like that. So I actually did use this a couple times to even add like accent lighting to a product when I was trying to shoot for it. This was really great because if I was trying to take a photo with someone and the whole lighting was horrible, which most times it is, is you can just have someone hold this above them and then it will help light them up. You can even control the Calvin right on it on the top so you can change the Calvin, the lighting and the color accent that it gives. So really amazing thing to have in a pinch when you need it. And then of course, additional memory cards just in case. You never know when you're gonna run out of storage, which I did have to swap these out quite a bit. I did bring three of these batteries, but I'm just using two of them. Now, if you don't have a full frame camera that uses the Z battery, the Z battery is absolutely insane. I think I swapped in one day, I think I swapped once. Other than that, I would just use literally a one battery and it would last me the entire day. So these things are phenomenal and it's literally a lifesaver to have multiple of these just in case. Now on top of that, uh, whenever you're moving around being portable, you wanna make sure that you have something to charge your devices with. So this is actually a portable charger made by Anchor. It's really cool because this can actually act as a kickstand, so in case you wanna stand it up on something, you can with your phone, and boom, there you go. Now normally it would be charging it, but this is actually dead, but it just magnetizes right to the back of the phone, and then if you wanna take it off, you just take it off. Another cool thing about this is if you have a Type-C cable, you can actually use this to charge other devices, so even if, the device isn't a phone that is MagSafe compatible, you can still use a Type-C charger to charge something else, which is great. It's also the same cable that actually charges this too, which is awesome. Also too, uh, <laughs> it's just in here, so I might as well, but a uh, random shout out A to Nucci, a good friend of mine, Nucci Kibuchi. Shout out to, to you. I got a plenty of those creative little things, but this is actually really cool. Cody Rift gave me a guitar pick that has a QR code for his information right on the back. So kudos to you for having a really like cool business card. So that's awesome. Now you guys can probably already see that there is a MacBook charger in here, which yes, I did bring a MacBook, which is right in here. So this is my 14 inch MacBook Pro, uh, the M1 Pro version of it. So this thing is absolutely amazing. I was able to bust out a few edits for clients while I was there. I also use this to offload a bunch of my photos and videos that I had. So this literally was a lifesaver. I would not have been able to do my job without it. So huge kudos to this thing. If you edit videos, like this thing is a lifesaver. This thing ripped right through the edits. I was able to get done with the edits in less than an hour and just be able to add like ramping and effects and stuff like that. And this thing did not slow down one bit while I was doing that. So massive, massive help this thing was. I know it's expensive, but 100% worth. All right, now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, you already brought a lot of stuff, but there's a whole nother spot right in here in the loft. Literally, this bag is like never ending. So this is actually one thing too, I wanna give a shout out, and actually I think there's a new version of this that I'm gonna buy, but this is basically like a portable power surge protector. So literally you can use this to be twisted any way you want. So if I wanna switch this around, you can do that, but it gives you three regular, uh, you, like three regular plugs and then two USBs on top. Um, Anchor actually made a version of this that's smaller and it's also got the same amount of ports except for it also has one more Type-C port on there. So I'm gonna look into grabbing that one, but if you guys don't have something like this, this is a lifesaver because I feel like all the time there's never enough ports or chargers nearby, whether it's in the hotel room, if you're traveling. So this thing is a massive, like 
massive help and I would 100% recommend it. By the way, a lot of this stuff, I will have affiliate links below. So if you guys want to, you guys can check them out yourselves, but 100% recommend this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room. Now this might look like something of part or something, but this is called a gimbal. <laughs> Let me go and put it together. And yes, this gimbal is a full-size gimbal, which works with my a7 IV and the lens I have on it. And it fits inside of this little compartment in the top backpack, which I'll show you afterwards. But this is nuts. Check this out. So this has a battery grip where you literally just and lock that in place. Extension arm and or tripod. Now this isn't by DJI and I wish I had the DJI one, but this also goes to the tripod, which is made by Small Rigs. There you have it, hang on, I'm gonna move the bag because this thing is pretty big now. And there you have it. This is literally a full-size gimbal that I was able to use at the convention to help me get some really smooth and stabilized footage. Um, so it's the RS3, which can literally hold a full-size uh, camera with equipment on it and stuff too. It's got plenty of mounting points for other pieces if you want to do like, you know, audio and things like that. So this was awesome and super fun to use. <laughs> and also it's my very first time using this gimbal specifically was the, at the event that I was shooting for a client. But yeah, so I was actually able to use this to get stabilized, beautiful footage that is being professionally used by a company. So um, I love this thing, super easy to use. I literally just watched one video on how to balance it. Super easy to balance. The unlocking mechanism on it is freaking awesome as well too. And even with how much I was using it, I think this thing's still like, let's check, 82%. I used this for hours the other day, hours, for two different shoots, and it was it is still at 82%. All right, and obviously a mask, Tentry. If you guys don't know Tentry, awesome, but mask for health and safety. Obviously you gotta have a portable power bank, another one. So this one's actually a 10,000 milliamp as were the other ones only at 5,000. Um, so this thing I used basically on the way home and my friend also used and it's still got plenty of juice in it. So super convenient, super helpful. It's got a regular USB on it as well as a type C unit on it as well too. So this thing's amazing. This is made by Mophie. I mean, again, I'll try and see if I can find this one, um, but I don't know if they make this anymore, but this thing is clutch. I love it. Came in fantastic. My last bit of camera accessory, this is actually a wrist strap. So the cool thing about this is that you wear this on your wrist and then it anchors down to your phone, I mean, your camera right here. Then you're able to use it to shoot and stuff like that. And if you wanna like, you know, let your camera kind of hang, you can. Or if you're worried about dropping it, you won't drop it with this. So I actually almost find myself wearing this more than I use my actual like camera strap because I don't wanna have it dangling. I'd rather have it in my hand, but I also am worried about dropping it. So. This is actually made by Peak Design and I absolutely love it. And then lastly, huge, huge shout out to this because I would not want to be editing on a mouse pad, but this thing is amazing. This is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2. Basically it's a Bluetooth mouse that also has a USB, but I use it Bluetooth with my MacBook. I have no problems with it. And this thing is a dream. I literally was using this on a glass table and it had no problem tracking. And it was just, it was awesome. It worked really, really well. Um, it's also got an infinite scroll wheel on it. You can kind of hear it. So really cool thing. And it was super small and easy to like carry around. So again, I just kind of stuck in one of my bags and uh, yeah, this thing saved me a lot, but that is pretty much it. <laughs> All of this mess. Oh, and hey, I guess a quick shout out L bracket. So as you guys saw, I brought that gorilla tripod and here's an L bracket for it to where you can mount your camera and it can mount it like this or it can mount it like this. So this thing also comes in clutch depending on what you need. But it's crazy to think that everything fit inside of this bag and I didn't feel weighed down at all with it. So huge shout out to Peter McKinnon and Nomadic. Um, but that was what was in my everyday bag for TwitchCon 2022. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you guys stay tuned. There is gonna be a vlog coming up of my experience there. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure that you guys hit that like button on here. Help me out if you guys like this content, want more content like this or about vlogs and things like that. Hit that subscribe button and help me out. And if you guys have any questions about any of the products I brought, please let me know in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to go try and relax now. <laughs>
Adios.